I have a shiny TS3650 sitting in my garage, and lo and behold, right over here beside it, I've got a TS3660, which is mine. Uh, this is the one that's uh, for sale right now. I uh, thought I'd show you the 3650, and then uh, for those interested also, the differences with the 3660. So, uh, first the 3650. Uh, the rigid fence system on this one is probably one of the best fence systems going on a factory saw without buying an upgrade. Um, to get a better fence than this, generally you're going to be looking at buying a aftermarket fence uh, that uh, probably cost you more than the saw does. So I just uh, made a quick, couple quick test cuts at uh, 12 inches left and right. I'm going to dial that into 12, uh, right around there. And this is the piece of wood I was using for calibration. Just a cheap piece of OSB. And you can see, slides in spot on. And if I grab my tape measure, see if I can do this one handed. looks pretty much spot on to one foot but the nice thing with this fence is it's very easy to adjust just a single Phillips screw and you can slide the plastic magnifier uh, left or right uh, probably up to about uh, uh, probably a third of an inch maybe even yeah, somewhere around there um, the the magnifier is actually really good on this too it's just so easy to dial in a, a very precise measurement um, so on this particular saw cast iron top is in very good shape. There are a few little spots, but they're not proud at all. Very smooth, uh, very smooth surface, very clean, no uh, no issues. A little spot of paint down here on the end rail, but I'll just scrape off if you're so inclined. Uh, then one of the other nice features that the, uh, the earlier rigid saws come with that the, the newer ones don't have is a four-wheeled uh, Hercules system. The new ones come with a two-wheel. Uh, make it much harder to wheel around. This one has a four wheel system. I simply push down on the silver pedal. It's already up. And you have four four mobile casters that allow you very easily to move it around, to drop it to the floor, hit the orange foot pedal, and it's now locked in. There's four adjustable feet on the bottom for your height. And you simply dial those up and down so you can adjust your height, micro adjust your height. And what I've done with my 3660 is adjusted them to match my two benches exactly. So I can use those as in feed, out feed tables. I just put them in wherever I need them. Uh, it is an older Freud blade on this. Uh, should probably be replaced, but it's still cutting quite well. Uh, it comes with the uh, miter gauge and the uh, wrenches for changing the, the blade. Um, there is a uh, your, your blade up and down here. You can see it's very smooth. Angle it a little bit hard on the eyes, I'm sure, but you can see it's smooth up and down, not binding at all. And then same thing with the 45 miter. It's on the uh, right hand side of the saw. You won't be able to see it angling, but it's nice and smooth all the way over. If you look at the photos that I put on the ad, you can see it's locked spot on to 45 degrees. Outboard motor, uh, one of the big advantages of the outboard motor, better cooling. It's belt driven. Any issues, you can change the belt. Any uh, lockups on the blade or unusual things with the blade, the belt slips rather than locking up the motor, causing it to overheat, uh, blowing up uh, bearings and that type of thing. So. Uh, self-adjusting belt it just lifts up like this and the weight of the actual belt or the motor is what keeps the tension on the belt so it's self-tensioning and very easy to adjust if you ever need to simply loosen these two nuts in here and you can adjust that tension uh, so that's the 3650 key features that I can think of right now um, cuts out to 36 inches on the right hand side, 12 inches on the left hand side, making it uh, ideal for pretty much any size of uh, sheet good to, to cut it down, rip it down. 
cross, cut it down, whatever it is you're up to. So really, the only difference that I've found with the uh, 3660 and the 3650, if you see this metal gar, this metal support here, that's moved on the 3660 to up higher. So it's actually mounted into the upper piece rather than being lower. And to be honest, in poking around the saw, looking at it, I can't really see any other differences. Uh, the spring placement is a little different on the motor as far as self-tensioning, um, but it's the same motor otherwise. Uh, yeah, so that's a tour of the 3650, a little cross comparison to the TS3660, identical saws as best as I can tell. And you can see the uh, 3650 saw. I guess the one other thing I'll mention real quick, uh, in my research on the 3650, there was noted to be a problem um, with the uh, mount for the blade in the very early versions. They didn't have the thread go all the way down and it made it difficult to mount some dado blades. Um, again, check the ad, there's photos of this one and you can see that the threads are, are high quality threads all the way down. Um, this was, a, as best I can tell, this saw was only is only about 10 years old, where that problem was about 20 years ago when they were making this, first started making this saw. So this is one of the newest of that this model, as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, any questions? See the ad, you know how to get in contact with me. And good luck, everybody. And I'm back. I guess in my infinite wisdom and trying to slap this video together, I should, uh, probably show a uh, demonstration of the saw actually powering up and working. Um, I'm just going to run a piece of 2x4 uh, rip. Won't, we'll be running it all the way through because I'm going to be doing it one-handed and I do like my fingers. I have all 10 of them right now and would like to keep it that way. Uh, quick saw safety button on this as well, I guess I should mention. Uh, simply pull out to activate. There is a key that can be removed. Saw no longer functions. Uh, for safety purposes or because, so you can lose them and it won't ever work again uh, So don't ever take it out. But anyways, uh, simply pop the uh, pop the switch out to uh, to turn the saw on I'm gonna pop the fence over to the other side Because it might be easier for me and set it to one inch I'm just gonna do a very sh short Rip, get my tape measure handy. with the dimensional number and the rounded edges, but uh, looks pretty stinking close to me. Here you go.